Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another Bath & Body Works holiday preview. I'm gonna be reviewing some of their scents that they have coming out. So Bath & Body Works should be in full Christmas mode by Monday coming up. I don't know if they're gonna have all this stuff out, um, but they should have at least the holiday traditions body care. And I've been visiting a few of my stores to see what they have. And I've found some things here and there that they put out early. So I grabbed some of the body care Care. just mini sizes they tend to put out minis early but the full sizes are very strict on only going out on that Monday um, but they have been sneak peeking all the candles that are out there's so many candles that I want oh my gosh so many good scents but I'm waiting for a candle sale for that so I might be doing another video on Monday or after that with some more Bath & Body Works stuff but I did want to go ahead and give you some sneak kind of early reviews of these things if these are something you might be ordering online when they launch sometimes they launch online early so maybe we'll see these before but who knows really so yeah these will be just some of my first impressions here trying them out and giving you guys my thoughts by the way um, I wanted to just tell you guys what I have on my eyes and my lips because I feel like those are always what I get the most questions on I do link usually everything I have on my face down below but I just tried out this new Kaleidos this is the black jasmine I believe it's called palette oh my gosh such a pretty smoky eye palette here absolutely stunning colors great formula and on my lips I'm wearing the give beauty sweet tooth lip gloss from the bubble pop electric collection which is another really great nude and it goes really well with cool tones so those will be linked as well as the other stuff on my face but let's go ahead and get into this Bath & Body Works kind of holiday preview and my first impressions on these scents so first up I picked up one of their holiday traditions by the way these will be all minis because like I said they didn't have the full sizes yet but I took advantage and purchased the minis at first they're usually buy three get one free they're like half the price of the full size it's not the best deal but uh, to try them out I was okay with it and then if I love something I'll just use one of my rewards and get it in the full size Monday but yeah I got vanilla bean noel this is my usual favorite of the holiday traditions I'm not really big on winter candy apple so I never really buy that one and then twisted peppermint I use it sparingly I don't really use it all the time so I don't really buy it that often I've been so curious about vanilla bean noel this year if it was going to be better than last year since last year's was a major fail I feel like like it literally had hardly any scent so I wanted to see how this one compares so I just have the mini fine fragrance mist and also the body cream here now I have noticed I just wanted to point out that since they switched to a new formula in the body creams they have been on the lighter side I've noticed since they added I think it was the aloe or whatever I do think that this year's version is definitely better than last year's it definitely has some more scent power not the strong Strongest. I feel like since um, this is from 2019 was like the last year that Vanilla Bean Noel was like really really powerful and since then it's just been on the lighter side so I've kind of been savoring this I should probably use it up soon but yeah the 2019 version is like top tier to me I think they're trying to get a little bit more on track with it it still fades fairly quickly but I feel like at least the body cream has a little bit more scent power than the mist and paired together you can get some more longevity out of it but it's definitely not as it used to be back in the day but definitely a step up from last year so I probably will end up picking up at least a full-size body cream since I'm almost out of the older one and that one's probably gonna be going bad pretty soon since I've had it for a few years now so basically it's better than last year but it's not great Great, not as great as it could be. I also picked up Snowflakes and Cashmere. I didn't know that this one would be coming back and I'm not sure if it will be in full size or not. I just picked it up in the cute little mini when I was at the store. They just had the fragrance mist, so I grabbed this one. Um, really, really cute packaging on this as well. So we'll see if it does come in a full size. This smells the same as it has in years past. This is such a pretty cashmere kind of scent. It's very warm, cozy. Just reminds me of fall and winter time. It's so, so beautiful. I wouldn't say this is super light on the first smell. It seems pretty normal to me. It's not super heavy hitting, but 
it seems pretty typical for snowflakes in cashmere. It's not a super powerful scent as is in the mist, but I think, again, once you pair it with a body cream or a body lotion, you can really get it to project really well. The notes on snowflakes in cashmere are cashmere cream, shimmering vanilla, and frosted clementine, which sounds so odd to me because it's not fruity. It's just really cozy, vanilla, cashmere, gorgeous scent. All right, let's talk about a newbie. I had to go to like three different stores to find this guy, but one store had it out early. This is Strawberry Snowflakes. I've been really excited about this scent. I picked up the room spray in my last video, and you guys need the room spray. It is so good in the room spray. It's a little bit different than the mist, which I'll get into. The room spray smells a lot to me like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy in a room spray version. So I highly recommend picking it up. I was curious how it was going to smell in the body care. And this one is pretty light in the spray. I don't have the cream or lotion to compare it to, but it's faint. I mean, it lingers for a few hours, but you have to really get up there to smell it. I think this is gorgeous. Um, a lot of people were wondering if this is similar to strawberry pound cake, and I do think it has the same strawberry note, if that makes sense. They have the same strawberry note, but it's not an exact dupe. It kind of reminds me of like an iced strawberry, like something about the scent seems very cold, like cooling. I'm gonna read the notes that are on the candle because I'm assuming they're the same notes. This one says, um, juicy strawberry whipped cream and iced bergamot. So I guess that icy note would be the iced bergamot. So think of like an icy strawberry pound cake. I still think they're pretty different, especially in like candle and room spray, but it's nice. I just, I really wish I could get more from it, more strength, because I feel like it has the potential to be really great. Um, but it's still different for me and something I'm excited to try out. So I cannot wait to get like the body cream and layer it up with that. But if you guys want something really powerful, definitely get that room spray because it is so good. Let's switch it up a bit. We're gonna go with Mary Cookie here. So they have this really cute new design for Mary Cookie. There's also a really cute strawberry pound cake. And Mary Cookie, they have been releasing pretty much every holiday now in the minis and this is pretty much an exact dupe of Christmas cookies. The thing is, that is so weird with this scent, it is so strong. Like, I don't understand why they can't make the other scents this strong because this like lingers. This one to me is like the original first edition of Christmas cookies because Christmas cookies has changed since the first time it came out in my opinion and it smells a little bit different. This is like the first version of Christmas cookies. So if you guys like that scent, definitely try this. I know it has like a almondy biscotti note in here. So good. We'll have to see if Christmas cookies comes out in body care this year. I haven't heard anything about it yet, but last year they did it as an online exclusive. So we may see it, but in the meantime, definitely pick up the Mary cookie. I'm assuming that's gonna also come in a body cream. Next up, I did get these little guys for Dream Bright. I have the mini perfume that I've been testing out and I've been really enjoying the scent, so I wanted to go ahead and pick up these as well and test it out. I will say, I am really impressed with the Dream Bright scent this year. I think this is pretty strong in my opinion. This is kind of like a sister of Into the Night. They kind of remind me of each other if you guys want something kind of deep and sexy for evening, but this is like the fruitier sister, so it's a little sweeter and fruitier, and I, I don't know. I might like this a little bit more. Both of these smell identical to me. Um, sometimes the body cream and the fragrance mist can differ in scent, but these are pretty spot on and they're spot on with the perfume as well. If you guys were able to try that, they're pretty much the same. Dream Bright has notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. It almost reminds me of um, YSL. I just, this just clicked in my head. You guys know I love to like kind of find Bath & Body Works dupes for high end stuff and it kind of reminds me of YSL Mon Peri, which has a lot of patchouli in it, and this almost gives off of patchouli and vanilla vibe, even though patchouli is not in the notes, but you guys, it really reminds me of that, and now I feel like they are kind of dupes of each other, or like the closest thing you can get. Interesting. Such a good one. I'm really loving the scent. I definitely want to pick up the full-size perfume, which I did see it is coming in a full-size this time, which I feel like we haven't got 
in a while from Bath and Body Works. And the last body care item, which I was so excited to try this, and one of my stores had it in the body cream. This is like a new one that's only coming out, I think, in a mini. This is Rainbow Swirl Candy. So I had to try this out. The packaging is just too, too cute. I haven't seen any notes for this though, but I was curious what this was going to smell like. And it's really sweet and very sugary, like you can expect. It does smell like a candy. It almost has like this cooling note though. It's almost like, it's not minty, but there's something in there that's cooling. Kind of reminds me of like an icebreaker's like sour candy is what it reminds me of. It's not exactly the same as like Enchanted Candy Potion. It's definitely newer to me. That's kind of what I'm getting is the icebreaker sours is what it reminds me of. I don't even know if they make those anymore, but... In high school, everyone had those in their backpack during school. But yeah, it's it's okay to me. It's not my favorite thing, but it's something different. And, you know, I wanted to try it out. And I think definitely some people will really enjoy this one if you like sweet candy. Hello, cash kind of sense. Okay, next up, I did snag some soaps a little bit early. This is just what they had out, but I'm, they're obviously going to be having more soon. But I think some of these I bought so I can exchange them later because I know their return policy is different, but you can still exchange with a receipt because um, a couple of these, I just wanted to get the deal and I had to buy five for that, even though I really only wanted a couple. But I picked up the winter soap. Uh, this should smell exactly like the candle with spiced orange fur balsam and clove buds. I might keep this one. This is even more citrusy than the candle is. I get like an orange peel note right up front. It reminds me of like orange peel and balsam. But yeah, it's definitely more fruity than the candle. I was really excited to try this Arctic Woods. This one has crisp air, fresh cedar wood, and clean musk. I really like this one. It's really cozy. Definitely clean smelling. I like this one. I get the musk as well. It's very pretty. It's like clean girl soap vibes. I had to get the Strawberry Snowflakes soap, of course. The soap is a little bit more like sour smelling. It's not um, the exact same as the body care. It reminds me so much. If you guys are a really OG Bath and Body Works, like I had a scent in high school from their Temptations line that was called Frozen Daiquiri. And this reminds me of that. It's a lot brighter, a little more cooling and juicier. It's really pretty. I absolutely love this one. I really wish I had more. I kind of wish the body care smelled like this too so I could have my old Frozen Daiquiri back again because I wore that so much in high school, but this is really nice. I'm excited for this soap. I might have to get another one. And then I picked up Vanilla Icicles. This is Whipped Vanilla, Amber Woods, and Ice Jasmine. This is pretty too. It kind of reminds me of like a bookstore though, like an old book, if that makes sense, because it has almost this kind of, the, it must be the amber. I feel like amber scents always kind of remind me a little bit of something old. It has a slight hint of vanilla. I think it's a really pretty scent. I picked up the Glistening Gumdrops. This is Sparkling Gumdrops Juicy Orange and Holiday Spice. This is so sour. Oh my gosh. Seriously, it smells like a gumdrop though. Like very fruity. Oh my gosh, you know, it smells like those Dots candies. Because it has almost that spice that the Dots have, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Okay, so this totally smells like a gumdrop. Very authentic. So that is like the body care and soaps. I did get a couple accessories. There's still a few I'm wanting. There is some really cute candle accessories this year. The cutest I've seen and there's tons of it coming. So I just got a couple things so far. I had to pick up this wallflower plug and it's silly because I really don't use wallflowers that much just because I am always burning candles, <laughs> but I just am a sucker for the plug sometimes. And this one is so cute with the little trees. Oh my gosh, and the pink, I love. This one was $22.50. I did use my 20% coupon, which is so handy now. The coupons go right to the app if you guys have the loyalty now. It's so easy instead of like hoping that you get one in the mail. <laughs> so definitely check your app because the coupons have been on there and it's usually a one one per month, one time use. But 
Oh my gosh, loved that. I got just a couple candle holders to start out with, but I know I'm gonna be buying more because they are just so cute this year. And by the way, I'm gonna post a shorts video, so definitely check that out too with all the holiday sneak peeks that I've seen so far that are coming. So definitely check that out for more stuff. I went over the candles and everything. But how cute is this Nutcracker candle holder? Oh my goodness. This is adorable. It's actually very lightweight too, which I like. But I love gold and white for Christmas is my vibes. And a little pink touched in there. And that is totally what Bath & Body Works is doing this year. So it's like my aesthetic. But this is just too cute. So the candle will sit up here. This was $34.95. And then I had to pick this one up as well. There is another one that I want that's a gingerbread uh, man kind of that goes around the bottom of the candle but this one is so cute too it's like holiday baking um it's the rose gold with the white etched on there so stinking pretty and this one's inexpensive it's $14.95 like you can use a reward on this I'm really mad that I didn't because this is really inexpensive for this I think the rewards you can use up to like $16.50 so yeah it totally qualifies as a free item so had to pick that up too and that is everything in my little bath and body works holiday sneak preview i hope you guys found this video helpful i really wanted to review those scents for you guys and i definitely plan on doing another haul with some of the full sizes and definitely more candles and accessories because i always love to review the holiday candles too um i usually come back when it's like can when it's almost candle day time and tell you guys my favorite ones i recommend anyways i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here let me know what you guys will be picking up let me know if you had let me know if you guys have been able to smell some of these scents definitely like if you're out and about definitely check out some of your stores and see if they have put anything out early especially in the mini section is usually where i find some stuff early but i'm gonna let you guys go thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys